is up? Autocons and Deceptibots. Deceptibot9 here, back for another Transformers video review. And today is October 10th, the day I'm filming this video, which means Hasbro PulseCon is still a couple weeks away. But we have seen some leaks and some potential rumors of who the Titan class figure for 2022 is going to be and I could not be more excited because for those of you who don't know Transformers Cybertron the 2006 TV show our worlds are in danger was the first piece of Transformers media that I was ever exposed to and that's the series that that set the spark for me so I have a lot of super nostalgia and personal love for Transformers Cybertron, for those characters, for those designs, for those concepts, because that is my G1, essentially. You know, a lot of people started with G1, obviously, and so that's the thing that is most important and most nostalgic and, and most valuable to them. But for me, I started with Transformers Cybertron. So anytime there is something from Transformers Cybertron that comes out these days i am a total sucker and that's what we're going to be talking about today we are going to be talking about generation selects hot shot i am also going to do one for galaxy upgrade prime so be on the look for that as well but hot shot here is terrific when they announced this figure i was so so excited i did i have added the gun from hound so he has a little more accuracy in terms of shoulder weapons. I was so excited that we were getting some Cybertron character representation. I did think that it was a little weird that they went with the more Cybertron defense team route for Hotshot rather than the sleek supercar version, but I think this version turned out absolutely fantastic overall. Using the Siege Hound mold was a great idea, and he looks fantastic. The blues and the reds and the yellows all really complement each other very, very well. There is just the tiniest bit of battle damage, so you can tell that it is a siege figure, but I don't mind that too much personally. And now we're getting to see this design used in a Wreckers comic book that is coming out very soon. Still, seeing this design and this character getting some representation in media outside of a figure is absolutely ecstatic for me as a as a guy who loves hot shot um you know this is hot shot i didn't know who bumblebee was when i first introduced transformers i had hot shot no hot rod none of that hot shot was my guy i still love hot shot to this day and i love the fact that we've gotten this version of hot shot a new version of hot shot i love that even if he was gen selects that's, I love it even more. This this guy, super, super awesome. But if you don't really like the Siege Hound mold or you don't like Hot Shot overall, you're not really going to like this figure, but I, I love him, I can't get enough. His blue is coming off a little darker here on screen than it is in person. It is a little bit lighter in person, but overall, still, even if it was that darker blue, I think it would still fit very nice. Let's get a look at that head sculpt. That is, his head sculpt is absolutely phenomenal. It, it's a it's a great way of, of looking like the original figure and the original character model, but also updating it to the modern era and making that balance feel really nice. I, those are usually my favorite types of figures. I think that's why I like this Hot Shot so much is that he's kind of that perfect blend of looking like the old version of the character and the figure and the toy as well as being a perfectly awesome modern update you know sometimes when a when a figure feels just like this was the figure from 40 years ago just he's now got an elbow and it, i don't i'm not a huge fan of that in particular if that's what was gonna happen with Cybertron, I wouldn't be a fan of that if they were just saying, here's the old toys, but with a little more articulation and they're the exact same. I would feel a little weird about that. I would rather them just make new versions of those figures and potentially reissuing the old ones. That's why I've liked Kingdom so much because the Beast Wars figures are perfect modern upgrades, perfect modern adaptations 
of these characters and they're reissuing some of the old ones. So if you want to go out and get an old one, you still can because they're going to appear on shelves. But they have these great modern designs for these characters that stay true to the original while also bringing it into the modern era. And I really hope that's what the next toy line, Transformers Legacy, does for some of these Unicron Trilogy characters. Is that they're able to take those characters and designs and update them in a way that still remains true to the original while also adding modern flair. That's enough of a, of a rant about what I like about some figures. We're here to talk about... Hotshot. So again, like I said, overall, Hotshot looks really great. He's got five millimeter ports all over. One thing I wish they had done instead of giving him uh, this little cannon that came from Hound was I wish they would have given him a knife or something instead. Um, you can make this be held like a type of melee weapon. Sometimes it is cool to put a blast effect in there and make it look like it's a lightsaber. Yes, so I have given uh, one of, I gave Hound's uh, laser gun to hot shot just so that he can have um, that shoulder cannon uh, authenticity and I like that there's two plugs on the gun so that you can stand them up um, just have the various options just like the original show and figure. All right, before getting into transformation, let's take a quick look at articulation on hot shot. So hot shot has just a standard swivel on the head. It is a ball joint, but you can't get much ball joint movement out of it. Standard swivel on the shoulders, up and down, rotates at the bicep, bends at the elbow, and wrist swivel. He also has a waist swivel. Legs can go forward and backward, in and out, and bend at the knees, plus they can flap ankle tilt, which is standard on all figures nowadays. And I should mention, that his paint, because he's a Generation Selects, I think his paint does look and feel a little bit better than a standard release. That's kind of how I feel about lots of Generation Selects, is their paint uh, is a little bit better um, in terms of just how it's applied and how it looks overall. I think because it's a special subline, it adds a little bit extra. But anyway, we are going to get into transformation. Now, transformation for this guy is exactly the same as Siege Hound. So if you're not a huge fan of Siege Hound, you're probably not going to be a huge fan of Hot Shot overall. And the Siege Hound mold is not, it's not my favorite from Siege. Um, it was the first Siege figure that I actually did get. Um, and I do really like the way the legs transform. I think the leg transformation is pretty neat overall, but it's not one of my favorites. So when they first announced Hot Shot, um, I was a little hesitant. I wasn't hesitant, but I was a little like, oh, that's not my favorite mold. I wish they would have chosen a different one, but I think it definitely works for Hot Shot overall, especially if we're talking about this being some sort of Cybertronian version of Hot Shot. Build for speed! All right, and here is Siege Hotshot, all transformed up into his artillery truck mode. And man, this this guy looks awesome. Like I was talking about in Transformation, I wasn't a huge fan of the Siege. Well, the Siege Hound mold and Siege Hound overall are all right. They're not my particular favorites from the toy line, but I think... Hot Shot is, is much, much better than Hound. I just love this look overall. Um, and I do like it for Hound too. It's not bad for Hound. The green and everything looks really nice on Hound, but I just love this blue. Way less red in this mold, but there is still enough red to have you know that it is Hot Shot. And I just love the way he looks. I can't wait to read the comic book, the Wreckers comic book that has hot, this Hot Shot in it because I can't wait to see Hot Shot in some media and, and this all around just looks absolutely fantastic he is there on the bottom head in view typical unicron trilogy that's all i've got for you guys today on generation selects siege hot shot and this video is coming out after hasbro pulse con so if they have announced transformers legacy and they have shown off that there are some unicron trilogy characters in it i can't wait to put them next to siege hound hot shot and have a little bit of a modern Unicron Trilogy shelf. Also, I hope that Armada Prime comes out eventually because that resin figure looked absolutely fantastic. That prototype looked super, super cool. Anyway, 
That is Hot Shot. Overall, I super, super recommend him if you are a fan of Hot Shot and the Unicron Trilogy. I think it's one of the best releases from Generations Select overall. And if I am going to be putting out a video about Galaxy Upgrade Prime, it's going to probably have a very similar vibe to this, um, but we'll see. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you think about Generation Select's Hot Shot down in the comments below. And let me know what you thought about the Hasbro PulseCon reveals because I'll know about them now by the time this goes up. That's all I've got for you guys today. I'll see you all next time.